Chris here, Tech Recipes, showing off the desktop performance. I'm going to show you guys some multitasking. So let's go ahead and take a look at our processes. And right now, I got Photoshop, Camtasia Studio, Skype, a few web browsers open, 92 processes, and our CPU usage is under 20%. Let's go ahead and open a bunch of stuff up so I can show you guys. Uh, let's open Dreamweaver. So that's going to open up right here. Uh, for someone like me, when I'm doing web design, I need a bunch of programs open at once to help me do my stuff. So here I got Photoshop open. And I'm go ahead and just open something if I have anything. And got this open in Photoshop. And let's switch back to Dreamweaver. And let's open this guy. So, uh, let's say, oh my god, I forgot a code thing. Let's open up our browser. Whoops. Let's get a video going. So we got that playing. I want to listen to some music too. So I'm going to open iTunes. So we got iTunes open now. And let's see what else we can do. Let's see what we're running at now. CPU usage is only still under 20% and we got a bunch more open and going. Um, let's open MSN. Yeah, that video is stupid. I don't want to look at it anymore. So I got my MSN open over here in the corner. Oh, you guys can't see that. <laughs> right in the review of it. Cool, cool. Let's uh kinda messing around here. Awesome. <whistles> Skype there. Dreamweaver. Recording. It's about what I have going on half the time, except I got a lot more tabs open. So give you guys an example of kind of how this thing performs under high pressure. And we're still CPU usage so is bumping back and forth between 10 and 20, and not really going over that. Um, here's a performance screen. Uh, probably need to restart and get my RAM back jacked up again, but performing pretty steadily with only a few peaks up to there. So this thing can handle it, handle it well. Hey guys, Chris here at Tech Recipes showing off my Lenovo K320. So I'm going to get here on the ground and kind of show you guys what it's got. A little bit dark in here so you can't really tell, but this is looking from the front. Uh, right here we have DVD, Blu-ray, drive, and then below it, expansion bay for another drive. Uh, if you come down here, very nice material here, very sturdy. Uh, you'll see i7, Lenovo, Enhanced Experience, so they got a bunch of crap tools on there basically they don't really do much uh, this is kinda a little novelty here uh, it's this little switch thing so right now it's in auto where the machine kinda figures out how fast to be running the CPU at you can switch it down to cool changes colors and then it runs on lower settings so it's not as loud or if you're gaming or doing lots of stuff that takes up a lot of RAM and stuff you can switch it all the way up to turbo it goes up to red uh, it seems like a little novelty thing, and actually does help. I did look at the CPU, just switches the speeds around and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the top. We got the power button here, then these two, which I'm not sure what do what they do. Uh, out front, we got two USB ports, a uh, mic, and headset input right there. A uh, couple SD card slots, many SD card slots. You can't really see them; it's dark. Uh, one thing I did like about this is this handle here on the top. You just kind of pick it up and go around, very portable. 
a lot of people complained and said this desktop was importable, but what do you expect from a desktop? They're not supposed to be portable, but it does have this handle, and it helps a lot. So if you come to the side here, it's got this cool little grill thing here where you can see into there, see all the parts in there. Uh, very easy to take off uh, this side here and slide open and expand stuff. So thanks for watching this little part, and go ahead and read the full review on the page.